All right, um, hey guys, um, welcome back. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading recently. I was having some personal issues and something with a little bit of depression. I'm just trying to get everything out of the way. But so once again, I apologize. So the last time I checked when I uploaded a video, I um, got a couple of subscribers, so good for me. There was a gentleman named Junkstar Duelist 1993, I, I believe, who commented on my Ezel video. And he gave me an idea. So we had like a little bit of a friendly debate about who was better. So what you see on the screen is Player of the Holy Bow Vivian and Night Scale Knight Elliewood. He said in his opinion that um Ellie Wood is better because, well, I'll read it still to you. When you have a grade 3 unit with Ezel in his name, placed on Vanguard, you can activate the skill. Look at the top card for a gold paladin and superior call to a rear guard to put the rest in the bottom. So he thought of a combo with Ellie Wood and Wonder Ezel together, which it does make sense. The combo goes, you have Ezel, you, well you ride Ezel, imaginary gift force. You place Ellie Wood down on the board for, uh, first. After that you call Wonder Ezel. Wonder Ezel skill, search for a incandescent lion, blonde Ezel, or any other Ezel you want, mainly incandescent lion. And then place it onto the board. Get another imaginary gift itself. I'm sorry if I said force before. You get Excel, and then you activate Ellie with skill. Counter Blast once, check the top card. Place a... Place the card that you got from the top of your deck and just place it anywhere. So he was thinking that you can actually repeat this combo if you can somehow get Wonder as old to be placed. And counter blasting one and checking out one card. I understand the idea, it's a little fun, little cute thing to do. But I was saying, in my opinion, that I believe Vivian is better because, for one, when Vivian is placed on Vanguard or Rear Guard from the hand, counter blast one and soul blast one. Check the top three cards of your deck, choose one card from among them, and place on the rear guard circle. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck, and Vivian gets 3,000 power for the end of the turn. So the reason why I was saying it's better is because, for one, she, she can actually be used on Vanguard and rear guard. Two, with a counter blast one and a soul blast, a little bit of extra cost, it doesn't really matter so much, it's pretty clean that you can you're basically getting more options to check something that's basically what you're doing you're getting more options more chances to check a card that you may want and that you get a power boost from it with Ellie Wood you're just checking out one card and that card might even be a trigger versus the three cards that you're going to be getting from the top of the deck and you might be even pull a unit and actually put the trigger cards back and that you have more chances to check the wonder as well that could be on the top three cards of the deck when you're checking it with vivian so what do you guys think who's better Player of the Holy Bow of Vivian or Ellie Wood? Comment down in the section below, leave a like, subscribe, and Junkstar Duelist 1993, thank you for subscribing to me, and I hope, you, I hope to see you in the comment section. Bye bye.